I would like to welcome everyone to the 105th Cassantian show that is put on by the Stallsboro Improvement Club. We are the oldest flower show that is known in the state of Georgia and we are investigating the possibly being the oldest in the USA. At a beautiful building that Sherman left, a beautiful day today, we have a lot of Cassantians, both odd form, in curve, and reflexes that you'll see inside the building later on. We have some older club members that will be interviewed and then we also have the person that is actually our stew master that cooks the stew all night long that is part of our tea room food that we serve and we also have homemade chicken salad and homemade cakes that we serve so this has been going on like I said for 105 years and all the ladies are here other members to take and do this and to put it on we decorate the academy and it's a building that Sherman left when he marched to the sea Well, I entered, uh, grew and entered all kinds. We have uh, what's called an uh, incurve, which looks like a football mum. And the spiders, they of course look like a spider. And uh, uh, there's some smaller flowers, some little decoratives like this. You might be buying them in the grocery store to take somewhere to one of your good friends or um, and then there's some really little bitty ones that we use all around the room. And then there's a one between the little bitty one and the medium sized one. And so we grow all kinds. We get the flowers in May and at about, well by the time they get knee high, you take the top off and bring them down to about that high and it looks like you have destroyed them. But that makes them, if you're a gardener or anybody that cuts shrubbery, you know that makes stuff come out below. So that way we have enough blooms on the flower. So usually we leave three, sometimes we leave four. I have left as many as 10. One time I had 10 that big around on one plant. Well, we go to the woods and get trees. We got some helpers that go with us. Take a trailer and load them up and fill up this room with greenery. And then we, we made this little poo right here. And for this little poo, we had to gather up some rocks and we gathered up some moss from, climbed up Wildcat Mountain to get some moss. There's a stream back there. And we got the moss and the ferns off the mountain and incorporated them into the pool to make it look like it was uh, uh, natural. And then we got water coming from it. So I think it looks really pretty. We also use Smilux. A lot of times we use it on the wall. We also use it sometimes 
over our archway some of the things that we have in here have some smilax on them smilax is a native plant it grows to the top sometimes to the top of a tree sometimes we when we're pulling on it somebody has to pull on us to keep us it can, from lifting us off the ground because it sometimes the the vines are strong and so sometimes it's hard to get out of the trees but they're in their way and it's way up high and it'll get entangled but they're beautiful and they make everything look nice and green what does it grow where does it grow primarily on the river but i've seen it places that's not on the river when the leaves are off the tree and there's greenery around a lot of times that's what it is if you see a green vine in the winter time running up a tree that's usually smilax well, each of the members is to donate a congealed salad so that we can serve congealed salads as well as our cakes and our chicken salad and our Brunswick stew. But the congealed salad is different. Every one of them is different. Somebody different brings every one of them, so everybody's got a, a different idea of what they need to want to bring. And the cakes are the same way. And they're all homemade. My specialty is caramel, and we have a lot of people that come here and I guess get caramel cake only once a year. Uh, I make caramel and then I, this year I made coconut but uh, the caramel is burnt caramel and it's a little brown caramel some people call it and it's a little bit more difficult and people a lot of people don't try to make it so but they're good come eat one <laughs> well we keep the menu the same every year we have the same things on the menu because for one thing because we have the same customers a lot of times and they come back looking for the same things we also have people who tell their friends and their relatives and their neighbors about what we serve. And Brunswick Stew is our Brunswick Stew. You can't get any, just anywhere. You can get Brunswick Stew other places, but not our Brunswick Stew, nor our cakes, nor our chicken salad. It's special. <laughs>we started in June tossing ideas around and coming up with a theme and then in September we got together and we painted all of the white items in here and once we had that done we started building the painting the fence and the walls I mean the wall yes <laughs> we did the wall oh, okay and, and, and did you come up with this year's theme uh, yes, someone mentioned something at the meeting in uh, June. We were sitting there brainstorming ideas and someone mentioned the word garden or something and at first I came up with Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
after I thought about it for a month or so, I thought it would be better if we just called it the beautiful garden and then we could include the Garden of Eden as well as other gardens. Did you did you paint these fences or I mean not the fence but the, the walls, the, the brick, did you was that your idea as well? Uh, my idea was the rock wall, but I'm not very creative, so uh, our member Karen Smith, she's very artistically inclined, so she guided us on how to do it and showed us what to do. And my last question, a lot of these ladies that we've talked to, they've been members all their lives, their mothers were members, but that's not the case with you. Can you talk about what drew you to this club and why you continue to work with it? I have been a member for six years. And I first came with a friend to help at the mom shop in the kitchen. And I just enjoy being around all the ladies and I like that socialization. As well as, you know, we do a lot of uh, things to help uh, the people like uh, raising money, you know, the Christmas tree for the needy boys and girls for coats and so forth. Yeah, I've been cook, cooking their stew for them. I cook their chickens for their chicken salad. So, How long have you been doing that? Oh, that's a good question. I'd say 10, 15 years now. Before I heard about the flowers, I heard about the stew. Hmm. Is that a recipe that's passed down? Is, did you come up with that? Can you talk about just hmm. the preparation of it all? Actually, it's just been passed down from old farmers to now, so. And while I know the recipe is super secret, can you just talk about some of the, what's the process of making your stew? Yeah, you start out with 100, 120 pounds of chickens, hens preferred. Uh, it's got uh, 30 pounds of pork, 30 pounds of ground beef, 24 gallons of tomatoes, then seasoning like Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, and, Ketchup. 
and you just cook it all night. How long does all that take? It takes, I cook mine roughly eight to ten hours. And I know a lot of, I haven't seen a whole lot of men here, and those I have are kind of got some plates with them, so mm -hmm. I take yeah. care of their tummies. So why, talk, why is it important for you to be here? I mean, because you're not just here today. You, you know, why you're here all week or all month? And well, yeah. My wife's been involved in this show ever since she was a little girl. Then after I got married into the family, it just kind of come along natural, so I've been in it 38 years now, helping them. We decorate. A lot of these trees you see here, we've had as high as 20 foot cedar trees. It takes five or six of us to stand them up in the corners. It's really a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy cooking, so I kind of inherited that job. I just have one last question. Is it important to keep this going, and if so, why? Yes, it is. This is their fundraiser every year, and the money they make here goes to the upkeep of the building. Of course, now Bartow County, uh, Bartow County government helps us out a good bit with it too. So, Mr. Steve Taylor, if it wasn't for them, I don't think they could keep it going much. They've been really generous. club all my entire life when I was a child I came here and washed dishes and in about 1990 I joined the club and I've been a club member ever since and I enjoy growing the flowers and being with my club members and whatever it takes to for us to do the flowers can you talk about that flower the flirt of delay yes ma'am it's a it's a we call it a spider it's a, uh, of course, it's a, you have to tend to it just like a baby. You have to uh, put dust on it, keep the, keep it from freezing, keep, keep it watered so it won't die. And it's, it's a very simple flower, but it's got a lot of work. You have to do a lot of work to keep it going, so. Is this your first time winning the war? No, no, this is not the first time. I've had several been fortunate enough to have several wins. So uh, last year and the year before and this year. So I say three or four years right on straight I've had been honored to have a winner. So. Why is it important to do all this work and to keep all this going? 
because we need we need this in our community. We need, because we people a lot of people don't know about this old academy, but uh, it's been here a long time. My brothers and sisters went to school here, and it's just a historical place, and it, it, I just enjoy doing it. And uh, like I say, all of my club members, I enjoy being with them. Do you want me to tell you what goes in our chicken salad? There's a hundred pounds of chicken that's cooked, and we put celery, and uh, we put a little lemon juice, we put apples, we put mayonnaise, and we also use a uh, Miracle Whip and some salt and pepper and season it. Pick the chicken off the bone. We don't use the boneless chicken. We pick the chicken off the bone, and then we put it all together and put it in the refrigerator. So, oh, absolutely, it's good. Now, you want to try a bowl? Well, I'm, I usually make caramel cakes myself, and uh, that's what I usually do. I usually make two or three. Sometimes I make four, just to how much time I got. I made three this time, so it's it's an ongoing process, but I enjoy every minute of it. My mother, Dorothy Smith Dudley, she was a member since the mid-50s, and I've just been involved because we always came with her to the show and working on the show and everything. And this year I won the um, largest in curve, the largest free flex, and the largest, I mean the most perfect, and the most perfect in the reflex was Mama's favorite. And I said, I know she's smiling. <laughs> How long did you work on that flower? Oh, I've been working on that since back in the summer. I mean, you have to just about play with them every day. I work, I water them every other day, sometimes every day. It's cool on how hot it is. And then you have to fertilize them a few times and you have to keep them pruned. And then when it gets cold weather, because some of mine has been bloomed so long, they, um, they've got brown and I couldn't use them. But it's a lot of fun. This is a bowl of the orb. It's the largest in curve. This is a Dorraine Statum. It was my uh, largest reflex. And this was a, a, another Dorraine Statum. And it was the um, most perfect. And these were the mama's favorites. And I, I never could, I never would my favorite, but he was always hers. Because <laughs> I have been known to give her mine. <laughs> We've been working on this for about two months, or maybe a little more, and we did it once a week, and then the last few days, a week, it's been every day, 
But we've had a good time. We've painted. We've been every color on the book, <laughs> painting the bricks. But we've really had a great time and enjoyed ourselves and fellowshiped a lot together and everything. I want to take this time to thank everyone for coming out to our 105th Chrysanthemum Show. I hope everybody enjoyed it, that they can walk away with a piece of the history of not only the building, but the inside of all the many things that's in there to see that has been left through the years and come again next year and we hope to be doing it for another hundred years. Thank you.